As some of you might know, Ella is half Korean, half Russian, and nationality wise, she's also an American. One of the rare cases where one plus one makes three. As part of raising Ella, my wife and I are planning on doing some of our own cultural stuff here and there so that Ella grows up feeling comfortable around kimchi, vodka, and all that wonderful stuff. So tomorrow is Ella's 100th day since she was born, and is a somewhat important day in Korea. Based on my Google search, it's about celebrating a newborn's first year since creation. Creation meaning conception, I guess, at 8 to 9 months inside the womb plus about 3 months outside makes about a year, so it kind of makes sense. Normally it would include some guests, nice clothes, some decent decoration, dessert, food, and everything, but since it's not the right time for social gathering right now, we're doing it the simple way. Sorry Ella, we'll try to do better on your birthday. We gather all the guests, invited some celebrities, or a celebrity, and prepare some of the stuff that are usually presented. For example, a variety of rice cakes are usually prepared to represent long and healthy life, blocking all negative spirits, wishes, and patience. But we weren't able to get all that and was only able to find this leftover that we totally forgot for weeks in the fridge. This black rice cake doesn't have any traditional meaning, but we'll just assume that we mixed all the colors and meanings and it just turns out to be black. Silk thread is also something that is given to wish for a healthy and long life. Of course we didn't have it, so prepare something a bit more practical that will keep her healthy until she's 18 or 21. Our health insurance card. Some people open bank accounts or give money and jewelry to wish them wealth and to become rich. Ella technically doesn't have any sort of documentation to open a bank account yet. So we got this instead. There's potential in this small piece of paper. Lastly, this might sound weird, but the umbilical cord. Back in the days, people used to consider the umbilical cord as the last connection between the baby and the parent. That keeping it would block all bad stuff from reaching the baby. We don't have it, but still have this belly button, which is technically part of the umbilical cord. So here it is. Ella's 100th day party slash ceremony. Do you have anything to say to Beyonce? Mm? No? Yes, maybe? Mm? Just let's go for cream bean. Okay, Ella. Here's your, here's your good luck rice cake. Mm? What about your health insurance card? Mm? Before the virus, we were thinking of taking her to the beach, but as you know, things happen. Maybe we'll be able to take her to the beach on her first birthday. Fingers crossed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week with another episode. Good job all parents.